<sighs> Don't you just love it when you accidentally advertise a video wrong and then that video does bad? Welcome to our Lost Media series, where we talk about all things Lost Media, including animations, video games, and movies, and a bunch of other stuff. Today we're going to be talking about Super Mario Kart R, which is the unreleased prototype of Mario Kart 64. I hope you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I also hope you enjoy the video. I love repeating myself. Mario Kart 64 is a video game released in 1997 for the Nintendo 64. The game is a sequel to Super Mario Kart and has players play as various Mario characters, racing in go-karts and using Mario-themed items in combat. The game was the first game in the Mario Kart series to have 3D graphics, as well as many memorable courses and features that are still represented in Mario Kart today. The game was originally named Super Mario Kart R. An early build of this game was shown at the Shonshashki Software Exhibition 1995, known as Nintendo Space World and other parts of the world. This build, with several differences from the final game, hasn't fully surfaced or been dumped online. At Nintendo Space World 1995, the Ultra 64, later known as the Nintendo 64, was shown off for the first time to the general public. Along with the reveal, 30 games were revealed and had playable demos. One of these was Super Mario Kart R. The game was presumed to be very complete, with one of the main differences from the final game being that a Match Koopa, most likely Kamek, would have been playable in the game, instead of Donkey Kong. The game also had the feather item from Super Mario Kart a different item box, a different title screen, and slightly different HUD. The build was shown off at Nintendo Space World 1995 and in several magazines. The build then fell into obscurity in the years after with only screenshots and videos proving the build's existence. In July 2020, a large Giga leak revealed the source code, assets, and cut material of many Nintendo games. While the leaks did not include the full Super Mario Kart R build, some of the assets did that did leak include an unseen town-like track, several graphics of cut items, and other graphics. These assets come from the IQ version of the game released in China. However, their origin points in around the time frame of the Super Mario Kart R build. While the leaks have shown promise, the build has a slim chance of ever leaking as Nintendo is well known for protecting early builds of their games. So I hope you enjoyed today's Lost Media video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.